Hi, welcome to Linda's Take. Today I am going to be working on um, Sam Excel Chapter 1, Project 2, The Retail Pro. I downloaded my instructions from Sam and this is my starter document here. First thing you want to do is make sure the documentation is correct for yourself, that your name is listed in the assignment. And we want to save it. So I'm going to go to File, do Save As. Make sure you remember where you save your file. I am going to save mine on in my Documents folder. I'm going to just go ahead and save it in my Lindis Take folder so that I can find it later. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to get rid of the ones and add a two and then save. So the first thing it wants me to do is go to the traveler's expense worksheet and merge the cells in range B2 through I2. So here in my Excel, I have my travel expenses. I'm going to first select the range B2 through I2. So here's B2. And I'm going to scroll down to I2, and I'm going to merge the cells. And then in B13, so I'm going to come down here to B and go down to 13. It wants me to enter a date, 5-3-2021. So I'm just going to use my keyboard and enter the date there. Step two, apply the accent three cells tile to the range B10 through I10. First thing I need to do is select that range. So I'm going to select the range B10 through I10. Up here on my home tab, I have my different styles I can choose from. And I click on that more button there. And you'll notice as you move your mouse over them, a live preview will show up so you can see what it's going to look like. But we are told to apply the Accent 3 cell style. So come down here to Accent 3 and just select it. We are now going to move to cell C16. So I'm going to come over here to C, go down to 16. And it says use Retail Conference in Houston as the complete entry for the cell. So we already have Retail Conference in here. I'm going to come up here to my formula bar and add in Houston and hit the Enter key to finish that off. And now in D11, we have our miles driven we need and we want to enter 65. In E11, so we come here to E11, we have our mileage expense and we want to enter a formula without using a function that multiplies the number of miles driven, uh, D11, by the current mileage rate, 0.55. So we need to first tell Excel we're entering a formula. To do that, we're going to hit the equals key, and we want to multiply D11. So I'm going to click in D11. Multiply is shift 8 or the asterisk, and we want the current mileage rate, 0.55. We want to make sure when we copy this formula down that it always refers to that number in I3. So to do that, we need to make it an absolute value. So I'm going to, on my keyboard, my function key, I'm going to click F4 to put those dollar signs in front of the I and the 3. That tells Excel it's an absolute value. When I copy it down, it's always going to go back absolutely to I3. Click the check mark up here to enter that formula. Now we're going to copy that down to E16. So I'm going to come over here to E11, select the fill handle, and copy it down to E16. If you get errors down here, that's because you didn't make I3 an absolute value.
On number step five, uh, apply the accounting number format to the range E11 to E6, I16. First thing we need to do is select that range, E11. So E11 down to I16. So right here, E11 to I16. We're going to make that the accounting number format. So right up here on our home tab, we've got our number format area, and we're going to select the accounting. In E17, we want to enter a formula using the sum function, sum function that's going to sum the mileage expenses, the range E11 to E16. So up here on my home tab, I've got my auto sum. I'm going to select that. It's already selecting that range E11 to E16, so all I have to do is click the check mark here to enter it, and I've got my mileage expense. Now I want to take this from E17, and I'm going to copy that over to I17. Now in B21, let's go over here to B21, and I want to change the font to Franklin Gothic Book Body. So up here I've got my font, and I'm going to select this. I'm going to come down here to the Franklin. If I remember correctly, I actually don't have this font. So i got the Franklin Gothic Book, but I don't have the body font here. So I'm just going to select that one. Um, then I'm going to copy the value in cell C5, so I'm going to come up here to C5, which is my employee ID number, and I'm going to paste it to D21, so I'm going to do a copy, come down here to D21, and paste. The last thing I want to do here is change the style of the pie chart in the range B23 to E36 to style 8. So I'm going to come down here to my chart and up here on my format tab, on my chart design, sorry. The chart design, I have all these chart styles and I'm going to come over here and choose style 8. You're now ready to submit your work for your grade. As I said, I already know B21 for myself is going to be incorrect because I don't have that font on my machine here. Everything else is going to be correct. Thank you for joining me today. If you like what I've done, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.